tell us. Exactly. <laughs> and interna interaction between Lizzo and Chris Brown caused a major debate on social media. So, producer Chris in the newsroom with more on why the singer is facing some backlash after a video of the two musicians went viral. Hey, Wisdom, good morning. So the Truth Hurts singers taking heat for a video that circulated over the weekend in which she approaches Chris Brown backstage at a concert and asked him for a photo. So here's where it gets a little complicated. Lizzo calls Brown, quote, my favorite person in the whole world in the video. So as you know, Breezy's got a controversial figure in the music business with a problematic past. And with all that in mind, Lizzo fans aren't letting her off the hook. They aren't happy about the meeting, and they let her know about it on Twitter, with many saying she's better than this. I think Lizzo faces a lot of backlash on Twitter, no matter what she does. This is obviously a complicated situation with Chris Brown's past. What do you guys think? You know, the minute I saw that this was posted, I already, before I looked at the comments, anticipated mm -hmm what the backlash would be about. And it, it kind of happens every time Chris Brown comes up. That's mm -hmm. my point. I don't think it's necessarily a Lizzo thing. Yeah. I think if anybody would have posted a picture with Chris Brown and said, this is my favorite person yeah. in the whole world, they would have got hated on. Yeah. There would have been backlash. Yeah. And yeah. I'm surprised she didn't anticipate that. And this is aside from what you may think. I'm just surprised she didn't anticipate that and err on the side of caution, given that she herself has said that what people say on social media affects her. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I, I saw that coming from a mile away. And, and the, part that, the, the part that probably got a lot of people's attention is she probably would have gotten away with taking the picture. Yeah. But when you say that he's your favorite person in the world, mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's probably where the negativity, they were like, wait a minute, of all the people in the world? <laughs> this, this is your favorite person. Now, and I'm not judging, you know, it's not my place to judge. We, Chris Brown has done what Chris Brown has done. I, I'm not judge, jury, and executioner. But all I'm saying is she, when, you, when you get on social media and say this, they, people will come for you. That's all. Yeah. That's yeah. a good point. And I'm sure we haven't heard the last of it because yeah. Lizzo does usually respond yeah. to her social media critics. Yeah. So True. I right. imagine we'll hear more from her yeah. later. All right, moving on. Let's talk about Joan Collins now because she's not holding back in particular about the Kardashians. And that's what I love about it. The Dynasty legend has no problem sharing her opinions on Hollywood's plentiful amount of plastic surgery. So in a new interview, she has a lot to say about the Kardashians, the reality family. She said that she's friends with Kris Jenner and doesn't want to be rude about her children, but there's, quote, an awful lot of surgery there, and I've talked to my friends about it. The bottoms, the tiny waists. Hmm. Hmm. You know, this is- Is she wrong now? Such a uh, interesting topic <laughs> that we figured now would be a good time to bring in Poet. <laughs> like, <laughs> here we have her, because I know, I know she'll have a lot to say about this Poet. I don't know if you just heard the story we talked about here with Joan Collins uh, talking about the Kardashians. What are, your, uh, what are your thoughts on what she said? Is it truth, and, or is it truth that just shouldn't have been told? Well, with friends like that, who needs enemies? Why are you gossiping about me? Secondly, hasn't she had plastic surgery? That's why I don't trust nobody. <laughs> because, who are you, Pat, to call cattle anything? You didn't have just as much. And in your heyday, it was the BBLs of today. So I just, I just wish we could get to a place where people wake up and choose happiness. And not I got to be... I don't know, shady or nasty or say something because I miss being in the limelight. What reason would you have for going to anybody and saying, I talk about my friends and I don't mean to shade your kids, but your kids ugly or this. It's just it's too much, <laughs> too much. I do wonder if in the world of the Kardashians and Hollywood, but specifically with the Kardashians, where you create drama in order to trend, if this just kind of comes with the territory so much so that they're like, girl, I know she talked about my kids, but I mean, duh, she's trying to stay relevant. I totally get it. In fact, I passed along the tip. Like, it's just a different world with them. Either way, though, poet, uh, I don't agree with it. I, I, yeah, I think it's a little weird that you're friends with the mom and you're talking, but you know. I don't think you talk trash about anybody's kid, yeah. period. Yeah. Mm. Unless you're in a rap battle. In a rap battle, so, it's well, still okay. Then that's, that's <laughs> a different arena. Don't they talk about people's mamas, too? No one's yeah. off limits exactly. in a rap battle. Like, your battle mama. rap, nobody's off limits. But <laughs> exactly. I think people are so impressionable. And what happens is people look up to the Kardashians and the Joan Collinses, and then they bring that into real life. But you ain't in the Kardashian life. Mm -hmm. So when you say about somebody or you shade somebody and then you get dog walked up the street you don't have the same outcome so yeah i just want people to be able to celebrate separate like reality right from real yeah. life and all of the things in between basically, basically maybe, don't try this at home right maybe joan collins was like I, i'm not relevant like the kardashians so let me go after the kardashians and see yeah. if i can get my name in your mouth 
like y'all talk about the Kardashians, and it, it works. Worked. It worked. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. Here we are talking about it. All right, Chris, thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> well, a uh, question here. Did Adele confirm that she's getting ready to release new music? It appears so. The singer has changed her social media picture to match Mysterious.